Good morning all. This is Rajkumar from Computer Science Department, Manar Thirumalai Noyakar College. Today we are going to see what is biomatrix. So biomatrix introduction, we are going to see the small basics of our tools. So it's like a, one of the technology, it used to identify, analyze and measure and individuals physical and behavioral characteristics. So each human being is unique in terms of characteristics. It makes him or her different from all others. For example, face, face direction, and then fingerprint. Then after, Irish, it's like a eye. Then after that, palm print. Then another one very familiar, signature recognition. Then after voice recognition. So some of you, few only we are going to discuss. So these are all the each and every one is unique identification in our human being. So these are all the based we are going to identify only each and the person how we are going to make a security. So for example, next one, each and everything is like a biometric, like a types. We are called each and everything is like a biometrics types. So it may be a divided into three things. That is a physiological. Then after chemistry and wine. That is like a chemical. Then after behavioral. So these are three things are we are going to discuss. So first one is like a physiological. Physiological means it's like a face, then fingerprint, then Irish, then after chemical. So chemical means we know that what are all the, the basic information. It's like a DNA. DNA is an example for that. One of the example, then blood glucose. So these are all the different from each human being. So that we need to identify, store in the database. After that, we are going to check for it whether it is a correct persons are coming to that place or not. So that run all the things are important in biometrics. So the first technology is used to for each and every person identify uniquely and then store that information. After that, finally, it will be database to come to our any kind of a device. So the next one, it's like a one of the example we are going to see. It's like a face recognition technology. So we know that education sector or company or whatever it is. So many people are nowadays are using, so many sectors are using now. Bioface reader. One of the example in college or school, any kind of the example we can take for that. So when the person enter into the device, see the look at the, the device. After that, the recognize the face, whether it, the face is correct to the person or not. Once you check it, and then if it is wrong, mention the wrong, into simple is identified. Then it's a correct, automatically the right symbol is displaying, then identify. So each and everything identify, it's a based upon mathematical formula based. So each and every skin is like a, going to make a lines. That lines is identified, it's like a extracting our image. Every human face is in a different one, not is a same way. So, so easily we identify each and every face reaction. So go to the next one. See that the technology extracting our image. How it will be extracting our image. So each and every image is like a eye, nose, after that the mouth and then the each and every points. That points it will be different from others. So easily extract that particular image and then comparing our database whether it may be correct or not. Matching means go to the next. Otherwise, again, we will need to check for that. So it is a one for face recognition. So wherever the people go, they are going to simply go to the device, see that the face. So look at the device. Device identify the face immediately, whether it may be correct or not. Once it is correct, we can go to the next step. Otherwise, it will be stopped. So go to the next slide. How it is working for that? So it's like a, how facial recognition systems work. The first one, capturing and scanning. The second one, 
extracting the facial data third one comparing database then matching and identifying so this is the four way to we are going to identify the face so the facial recognition algorithm is also there okay so uh, next day we will go to the in depth of the these are all the things the finally i will show to one small glyph for that easily we can identify the next slide